Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you some general messages in regards to your career, your money, and your health. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone. It might not be for everyone. Um, but if you connect with the messages, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's take a look at career, Aries. First, I'm going to take a look at what are your sentiments in regards to career currently. Right, let's see what are your sentiments currently in regards to career. First card is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Some of you are tired of your career, of your job. Some of you want to break free from whatever it is that you're doing. But you might feel tied up. You might feel like you have no choice. <clears throat> yeah, you might feel like, you know, you have to do what you're doing because um, you'd be in a vulnerable state if you didn't. You depend on it. Okay. What else here for Aries in regards to career? The page of wands in reverse. Some of you are waiting for an offer, a better offer in regards to work and career. Some of you might feel like you haven't been finding any better options or you haven't been receiving any offers. You haven't been receiving any messages from potential work opportunities. Okay, anything else for Aries? We have the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> Sorry about that, somebody just whistled. All right, the Seven of Pentacles. So again, it, this is an energy of kind of feeling tired, feeling overworked, overburdened with what you're doing. You might feel like you're not growing as fast as you want, or you might feel like you're not you're not receiving the return for your hard work or your efforts that you would like to receive. You might feel underpaid for the amount of work you do. You might feel underpaid. Okay. Let's take a look now at advice, okay? I'm gonna pick some cards to represent advice for you in regards to career. Um, any advice for Aries spirit in regards to career and work? We have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups in reverse. So the Page of Cups is very emotional when it's in reverse. It's highly emotional. Um, some of you need to kind of you know, clear out the emotion because the emotion might be what's really overwhelming you. Yeah, because some of you might, might 
be trapped within your own mind, within your own thinking. You might be just thinking negatively too, too much. And, you know, that comes from being, feeling emotional about your situation. So, you know, um, just accept, accept that you're not where you want to be. And as soon as you accept that and embrace that this is your current situation, you can release the emotion and start thinking more um, practically. You know, finding practical solutions to, to your problems and to what you want to achieve. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse is kind of a lack of action. It's a lack of initiative. Okay, so some of you just need to, like I said, stop being emotional about what you're going through. I mean, it's human to have emotion, obviously, but, you know, kind of give yourself permission to cry or to feel bad, embrace how you're feeling, and then, and then just, you know, cut it out. Let it, let it, um, let it exit your, your system. Let it exit your body, the emotion, and and start thinking more about actions that you can take. There's always a solution. I, that's something that I, I, I personally always say that. I always say to people, there's always a solution. There's always a way. You know. It's, it's just that you have to focus, you know. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, temperance is in reverse here. So again, temperance is in reverse is kind of a lack of balance. Um, yeah, it's a lack of balance. It's a lack of... Um, Grounding, it's a lack of grounding. Again, when the temperance is, is in reverse, it's when you're being overly emotional. Um, so you need to kind of complement your emotions with action. Because emotions are good in the sense that they will give you that drive. Yeah, but emotion needs to be complemented by um, by a proactive, by more a, a more proactive energy. This is the card of alchemy, so it's like you have to be emotional, yes, but proactive at the same time. That's the good emotion. Um, over here, when you're with the page of cups in reverse, that's the negative emotion. That's when you're too, too much consumed in your, in your feelings. So definitely find balance here. Find, find a way to be more balanced and to be more active. There's, there's a solution, even though you might be feeling like there isn't any other way out. Um, also, temperance is patience. So some of you just need to be more patient also. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen when you want it to happen. So you have to accept that things have a divine timing. There's a divine timing to things. But the universe always wants to help you and the universe is always willing to help you. So if you do your part, then the universe will do their part. And it's about working together with the universe. And definitely, you know, if there's something that you know is better for you, then, you know, get out of, get out of your head and pursue whatever it is that you know is better for you. Don't be um, scared. 
So, I mean, or, or intimidated, you know, some of you also with the seven of pentacles, it's like, you just need to go through the work, you know, because some of you just wish, some of you wish there was a better, uh, an easier way or a faster way. And sometimes there just isn't any, you know, sometimes you just have to go through the work almost, I mean, sometimes the majority, the majority of times, unless you're lucky but you were born lucky, some people are. But the majority of times, you know, you have to just, you just have to go through the work. But definitely don't lose your, your faith here with the temperance in reverse. Keep your, keep your faith high. Any outcome here for Aries for the near future in regards to career outcome? Okay, nine of wands, the fool, the five of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this is the card of Aries, the fool card. So, and you're, you're in between two negative cards, the nine of wands and the five of pentacles. So definitely I feel like um, you need to get out of this rut that you're in. You're definitely in, in, in a big rut here. And you're looking up, you see, you're looking towards the sky. It's almost like you want to elevate yourself. You want to grow, you want to expand, you want to progress, but you feel a little bit weighed down at the moment by your current circumstances. Again, you might feel like you're not growing as fast as you would like to. But again, I feel like it takes time, especially with temperance here. I feel like it takes time. And there's a mixture here of you needing to, you know, take, take more action and also you know, be more patient, be more accepting of, of the natural process of things. Aries usually want things to happen quickly. Um, but in this case, um, there is no quick shortcut here, okay? It, there's no quick shortcut. You need to kind of, you know, grind away. You need to keep grinding um, and keep, you know, um, Keep pushing yourself because I do feel with this temperance card that eventually um, you will see the fruits of your labor. I mean, this is a really good card to have the Seven of Pentacles upright. It does it does show that you're on the right track? You know, it does show that you're going you're going the right way. Just, you know, stick to it. Um, you know, get rid of the um, negative emotions, negative thinking, and keep, keep trusting. Keep trusting and believing in the universe. The universe always has your back, always. The universe will always um, support you and will always, you know, work together with you. But you also need to work together with the universe, so... All right, Aries, that's what I have here. I guess in regards to career and money. The money looks good, though, with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like your money um, is sufficient with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, I think your Seven of Pentacles is a lot of Pentacles, so I think it's sufficient. I don't see... I don't see you going down. I feel like you're you're in a good place. It's about being grateful also with the temperance card. Definitely be grateful for what you have. Um for your blessings. And I like I like your card being in the upright position. This is a good card because it's the card of Aries and it shows you looking up. So 
I do feel like even though you have your moments of mm, of feeling desperate, I do feel like overall there's a lot of strength within you and I feel like you're going to get out of whatever rut you're in just because of your of your strength that you naturally carry within. Also in health, this is a good card to be upright because it means that um, your health is in a good place, but if it's not in a good place, then it's going to definitely improve. So that's, that's looking good. All right, Aries, I hope this reading helped you in some way and I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.